Eric Ten Hag's time as Manchester United manager is over, with the club confirming the news in a statement released on Monday. The Dutchman is the latest high-profile managerial departure from Old Trafford, following on from predecessors David Moyes, Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The search now begins for the Dutchman's replacement ahead of Sunday's match against Chelsea. Welcome and welcome back to this channel. Please subscribe to never miss any video. Ten Hag was retained as United manager in the summer after an end-of-season review following an 8th-place Premier League finish, the club's lowest since 1990, and an FA Cup final victory over rivals Manchester City. United triggered a one-year extension option in the 54-year-old's contract at the start of July. His previous deal, which he signed when he was appointed in 2022, was due to expire in 2025. According to multiple reports, the club spoke to numerous candidates, including Ipswich boss Kieran McKenna and Thomas Tuchel, but after the one-year extension. United were keen to give the former Ajax boss time to fit into the new sporting structure. But recent results and performances have not been deemed good enough, despite being given the resources to make a success of it. Speculation regarding Ten Hag's departure was fueled when the club's minority owner, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, would give no reassurances regarding the Dutchman's future in early October. After finishing 8th in 2023 to 2024, United endured their worst start to a Premier League campaign after seven matches. The Reds have been on the receiving end of two heavy defeats at Old Trafford this season, losing 3-0 to both Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur, the latter of which Ten Hag said he denies being a true result, due to Bruno Fernandes' early wrongly given red card, which was eventually overturned. In recent fixtures, Ten Hag's men failed to beat Crystal Palace, Twente and Shade, Porto and Aston Villa while suffering embarrassing defeats to Tottenham and, prior to the September international break, rivals Liverpool. Ten Hag had issued a rallying cry to the club's supporters, previously telling TNT Sports, we will get there after Harry Maguire's late equaliser salvaged a 3-3 draw with FC Porto in the UEFA Europa League in October. The United boss also felt United's worst-ever start to a Premier League campaign had been hugely influenced by their extensive injury list, with players such as Kabi Manu, Harry Maguire, Mason Mount and Luke Shaw seeing spells on the sidelines. United remained winless in the Europa League, most recently drawing 1-1 with Jose Mourinho's Fenerbahce as only goal difference sets the Premier League club above the bottom 12 teams in the league phase. Europa results were also a reminder of how Red Devils were eliminated in the group stage of the UEFA Champions League, following Ten Hag's first season which yielded plenty of promise. Last year, the team had a mixture of results which saw them go down the Premier League table and only qualified for the Europa League this season by winning the FA Cup. United were active in the summer transfer window, signing Matij De Ligt, Lenny Yoro, Joshua Xerxes, Manuel Ugarte and Nusser Mazraoui for a combined spend of approximately £205 million, including add-ons. Following the end of the transfer window and just hours before the Liverpool defeat, Barada said Ten Hag had the full backing of the club's hierarchy. All this expenditure could not turn the club's fortunes. The big problem last season was the defence, with Man United conceding an unprecedented number of shots. This season, finishing has let the side down, and with the team scoring only eight times and conceding 11 goals in the Premier League. With the fans and media calling him out, Ten Hag clung to the argument that two trophies in two seasons represented progress, but few bought it as results stagnated. And unless there was significant improvement, his superiors were always likely to run out of patience too. His style of football was also questionable by many fans and the media. There were also question marks over recruitment, under Ten Hag, United have bought extensively from the Dutch league including a number of players who worked under him at Ajax. Given his position always looked unstable, there will be questions about the decision to back Ten Hag to the tune of around £180 million last summer. Lenny Yoro looks very promising, but the outlay on Joshua Xerxes, Matij De Ligt, Nusser Mazraoui and Manuel Ugarte will attract scrutiny. Manchester United have announced the termination of Eric Ten Hag's contract after two and a half years in charge at Old Trafford. He was informed on Monday morning following a 2-1 defeat to West Ham, which left United sitting 14th in the Premier League table, seven points off the Champions League qualification places. After just three league wins from nine games and only 4-14 four in all competitions, and this proved to be his final game for the club, a club statement said, 
Eric Ten Hag has left his role as Manchester United men's first team manager. Eric was appointed in April 2022 and led the club to two domestic trophies, winning the Carabao Cup in 2023 and the FA Cup in 2024. We are grateful to Eric for everything he has done during his time with us and wish him well for the future. Ruud van Nistelrooy will take charge of the team as interim head coach, supported by the current coaching team, whilst the permanent head coach is recruited. The 54-year-old led United to a third-place finish in the 2022-23 campaign and ended their year wait for a major trophy with victory over Newcastle United in the Carabao Cup final. He also leaves the club with the 2023-24 FA Cup after beating Manchester City in the final last year. In addition to the two trophies, Ten Hag's lasting legacy at Man United will be the fact that he fostered the growth of young stars like Kabi Mainu and Alejandro Garnacho. Ultimately, however, the 54-year-old will mostly be remembered for falling out with Cristiano Ronaldo and Jadon Sancho, but also many fans were impressed on how he handled the two sagas. Given the catastrophic football displayed over the past year and the obvious regression compared to Ten Hag's first season at the helm, his departure comes as a surprise to no one. Ten Hag oversaw games as Man United boss, winning, drawing and losing, amounting to a win percentage of the RD best for a permanent manager in the club's history behind Ferguson and Jose Mourinho. The decision marks a reversal by the Ineos-led hierarchy, who backed Ten Hag when triggering a one-year extension in his contract during the summer. A month on from the remarkable FA Cup final victory over Manchester City at Wembley. It will now fall to that newly installed football structure, led by Chief Executive Omar Barada and Sporting Director Dan Ashworth, to select Ten Hag's successor in a bid to salvage the season. Ruud van Nistelrooy has been asked to take charge of the team as interim head coach, supported by the current coaching team, whilst the permanent head coach is recruited. The legendary ex-Red Devil striker will lead the team in Wednesday's game at home to Leicester City in the Carabao Cup. These are Manchester United's upcoming matches. If you managed to reach the end of this video, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on notifications bell to never miss any video and leave your comment on what you feel about Ten Hag sacking in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you soon.